I have a question. What is the strongest weapon in Genshin Impact? Is it, you know, the Staff of Homa? Maybe the Jade Cutter? Or perhaps even the Thundering Pulse? Wrong! The strongest weapon in Genshin Impact isn't what you think it is, and it's not even a 5 star. Because the strongest weapon in Genshin Impact is actually none other than the Dull Blade, and I am going to prove it. Think back on our journey as the Traveler, you know, we've defeated dragons, harbingers, even literal gods, which canonically speaking makes it the strongest weapon in this game. And today! We are going to be putting that to the test by attempting to beat Genshin Impact using only the Dull Blade. Here are the rules. Number one, the only weapon I am allowed to use is the Dull Blade. Number two, every character in my party has to equip the Dull Blade. And number three, this video does not end until I 36 star the Spiral Abyss. Are we going to be able to complete this challenge? Is the Dull Blade really that strong? Why am I doing this to myself? Well, that is what we are here to find out today. So of course, the first thing we'll have to do is put together a team. Thank you to Samsung Galaxy for sponsoring this video. Hey everyone, before we begin, I just wanted to let you guys know that I've actually been invited to compete in the Galaxy Battles Genshin Impact event. This is a tournament sponsored by Samsung Galaxy in partnership with Snapdragon, and I'll actually be going head to head against a bunch of other creators to compete for a 40 thousand dollar prize pool. The tournament is going to be live streamed this Sunday on April 21st. So if you'd like to come out to support and potentially win some Samsung Galaxy devices of your own, be sure to check out the Samsung US YouTube, Twitch, or Facebook channels. Samsung has also been kind enough to send over the brand new Galaxy S24 Ultra and with amazing features like a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, an incredible QHD Plus display, live translation with Galaxy AI, and more, this phone is the perfect piece of hardware to take on this tournament. If you're interested, please be sure to head down to the link in the description to check out this phone for yourself. Thank you once again Samsung for sponsoring this segment, and now, back to the video. All right, as you can see, we are now in the game, and uh, I already know the first question you guys are thinking, right? Does this mean every single one of my characters has to use a dual blade? The answer is actually yes. If I use a character, we are going to have to equip the dual blade. And you're probably wondering, how are you going to do that? You know, you have to use eight characters in the Spiral Abyss. Well, that is why I spent the entirety of last night farming none other, not one, not two, not three, but eight maxed out level 70 dull blades here that we are going to be using today for this challenge. And you know what? If we can't do this, oh God, should, we, should I be saying that? Okay, fine. If, if we can't do this, I'll delete a five-star weapon. Okay, how does that sound? Why did I say that? Why did I say that? Okay, uh, team of four, team of four. Okay, actually, this is the uh, normal team that I usually run around with. It has three sword characters in it, and of course, Raiden Shogun. Unfortunately, she only uses a sword during her ultimate, so I don't think she counts, but maybe we can just swap out Raiden for some other character with, you know, an element. Oh wait, do I even have four level 90 sword characters? <laughs> wait a second here. Bruh. Actually, I got it. <laughs> How about this? <laughs> how about, how about this? Because I actually, for the second team, wanted to do something similar along the lines of one, Kuki Shinobu, two, I'll hate them, three, Shing Cho, and four. Oh wait, Bennett's a sword character. Honestly, Bennett might work here. Okay, Chi Chi, goodbye. Instead, <laughs> Bennett's gonna go here. <laughs> is this team too strong? I feel like this team is too strong. And I feel like this team is too weak. What if we use Farina instead? This would work, right? Wait, I think I think this is it. I think we've got our teams. Okay, 
Team number one, Kaching, Jean, Kaza, and Bennett. Team number two is a Hyper Bloom team. Normally, I wouldn't use Alhatham because I just don't use him, but we're actually going to need him in the Abyss this time around because we're using all sword characters and there is a very annoying flying enemy in one of the chambers that Alhatham should be able to deal with. So I think this is what we're gonna do here. Let's equip them real quick here. Kaching! Using the Jade Cutter, not today. Oh my God, this, this hurts me. Level blade. I mean, it's not bad. 1300 attack, 42 to 249. I mean, that's not bad. It's probably better than some of your builds out there. I'm going to be honest. Um, <laughs> We could probably switch out this for something like here. 70 to 208. Maybe the dual blade won't matter at all. Okay, Gene normally uses the Jade Cutter as well. Today, getting a bit of a downgrade. 29 to 200. I think this will work. I think this will work. Kazaha, goodbye, Freedom Sworn. Hello, Dual Blade. He is 808 Elemental Mastery still, though, so I think that'll work. And Bennett, you're also using a Dual Blade. Hey, actually, these these characters don't look like like their stats don't look that bad. I mean, yes, he has almost as much defense as he does attack, but it's not terrible. Wait. Should we try to get a damage test? All right, this is this is team one showcase with dull blades. I think on a good day, my Kaching probably hits around, on a good day, what, it's a game. Um, She probably hits around, what, 8,000, 7,000 attack on her normals infused with Electro. Who do you think will do the most damage? I think it's it's probably gonna be Kaching. I mean, come on, she, she has cracked artifacts. She is 70 to 208, even with a dull blade. I think it's gonna be enough. Okay, let's see, moment of truth. Okay, 3,000. Oh, okay. All right, and the ult. Hmm. Is this winnable? <laughs> Is this winnable? It's like F2P damage. She did 14K on her ult, which she normally would do like 40. Oh God, she can't even take down the phantasms, dude. These are overworld mobs, not even abyss. Yo, okay, okay. Oh my God. Better pick this five star you're gonna delete. <laughs> Yo, chill, 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 chill. It's not over, okay? It's not over, it's not over. Listen, we have, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. What if instead of Bennett on this team, we put, um, I, have, I don't have many other options here, huh? I got it, I got it. Farina, Farina on this team, and instead of Farina with Alhatham, we can just put down Bennett here instead because I don't think Bennett overrides Alhatham, so this might work for us. Okay, team number two, Alhatham team. I totally did not literally just build him like two days ago because I knew I was gonna use him in this challenge. I also totally know exactly how he works and what I need to do in order to properly maximize his damage. So watch this. Boom, boom. Oh God, he isn't crit. Hey, yo, wait. I didn't switch his weapon. That's probably why. Hold on. <laughs> I was like, wait, Shincho doing 30K? Oh no, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Reset, 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 reset. Okay, okay. Dull blade for you, dull blade for you, dull blade for you. And you already have the dull blade. Oh wait, we need to give Farina the dull blade too. And there you have it. All eight characters equipped with the dual blade. That is, that is crazy. Okay. Uh, shoot. How do I build her? Um, wait, does she need elemental mastery? Uh-oh. I should have built her beforehand. Okay. Give me one second here. Four hundred ninety-two EM <laughs> with four-piece deep wood. Okay, you know what? We'll take that. Alhitham is rocking nine. 112 attack with almost Bruh. way more defense than he does attack. 52 to <laughs> Is Can someone rate my I'll hate them build? Is he good? He's running four piece gilded. Xing Cho actually has more than 1000 attack, which is kind of crazy. Uh, he's running four piece emblem. 43 to 163 is this with the dull blade? What the? Why is he actually kind of good? And then Bennett, 736 attack, 47 to 140 with 182. Honestly, they look good. They look good. Let me see this damage here. Surely he actually does something though. Okay, Bennett, 
Okay. Ching Cho. We'll do this. 10,000 still. Kuki. Into Al Haytham. He's doing 1,000 damage. That's not bad. It's not great either, but <laughs> it's not bad. Okay, I saw triple digits there. That's not that's not good. What do you guys think? Do we have a shot? <laughs> let's just do that for now. Okay, let's head over to the Spiral Abyss here. I, I think it'll be close, but I think it's winnable here. As you can see, uh, I have already completed floor nine and floor 10 because I just feel like floor nine and floor 10 isn't really that much of a challenge. And even with a dull blade, I feel like it's gonna be winnable. So our first warm up is going to be actually on floor 11 here. First half is going to be Kuki Shinobu, Al Haytham, Ching Cho, and Bennett. And second half, Jean, of course, Kaching, Kazaha, and who was my last character? Rina. Okay, honestly, Let's just go for it. We just gotta start. <laughs> There's nothing else we can do here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see how this team works in Abyss here. Honestly, the one thing I am worried about is I feel like team two is way more overpowered than team one is. Shingcho does not have sacrificial sword anymore, so we're not gonna be getting those, uh, we're not gonna be getting those double hits, but maybe it'll be okay. Honestly, not bad, not bad. I like what I'm seeing ultimate decent amount of damage hey wait the damage is actually kind of good <laughs> this is dull blade right yeah they are using dull blade how is it better than mine with dull blade <laughs> okay this is still floor 11 though this is this is only floor 11 this is still a warm-up I, I think i think i really need to get used to how to use this team though spoiler alert i rarely ever use i'll hate them and he's going to be the key figure in being able to 36 star the Spiral Abyss today. Okay. Can we get some damage? Give me my ult. Oh my god, I really wish I had Sacrificial Sword about now. Oh god, I see 900 damage crits. <laughs> Wait, no, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Okay. I'm starting to get worried. I'm starting to get worried here. This is floor 11? Are you kidding me? Wait, this was supposed to be easy. Wait, this was supposed to be easy. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> See? See? We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, God, there's still another chamber. It's not about the amount of damage you see, okay? It's about... It's about the skill involved, which is probably still close to zero, because I don't actually know how to use this team. You know, maybe we should split up some of the Team 1 and Team 2 characters. <laughs> this team is not doing a lot here. I'm gonna be real. 3,700 damage for a crit? Are you kidding me? No. Believe. Believe. Have faith. Have faith. Have faith. Yeah, I just feel like Kaz is so overpowered. Because it doesn't really matter what weapon he has. As long as he has the elemental mastery, he's doing big amounts of damage. Like, why? Oh, how did she do 52k there? Did you see that? How did she do 52k on an ult with a dull blade, bro? I ain't never seen her do that much even with the jade cutter. Okay. That's floor 11. Nine stars. Not even hard. Floor 12 is where it's gonna get interesting, though. We have mecha construction specialists here. Ruin Serpent on the second half. We nuts on the second half for here, and the Drake on the second half on Chamber Three. Oh Lord, I don't know if we have enough DPS to do this. It's not too late to back out. <laughs> no, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Stop doubting me, chat. Stop doubting me. This wouldn't be a challenge if it wasn't difficult. Okay. Oh Lord, I'm a, I'm a full send. All right, let's go for it. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Starting off here. 
I don't think chamber one's gonna be too difficult, or the first half on all chambers are gonna be too difficult, but we do have to clear this very quickly, otherwise things are gonna get pretty bad. <laughs> Fortunately, the blooms have activated. And Kaching with the hyper bloom as well, since they are proccing Nendro for me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Come on. Okay, 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 okay. How much time do we have left? One and a half minutes to defeat this thing. Definitely winnable. Right? Okay, get started with the hyper blooms already. First. Oh god, we did absolutely no damage there. Um, this is fine. This is fine. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. We might have to rethink this team. <laughs> we might have to rethink this team here. Oh gosh, is there anyone else we can actually use? Because this Al Hatham team is not cutting it, bro. Would Aika be enough here? We can't freeze bosses. That is a very good point, though. Maybe I just have to try harder. Hold on. Okay. Maybe I just have to try harder. Maybe I just have to try harder here. Okay, if we do floor one faster here, it gives me more time. We can optimize Al Haytham's rotations as well, and then it'll be winnable. Oh god, wasn't this abyss supposed to be easy as well? <laughs> I thought this abyss was supposed to be easy. What's up with that? Oh my god. I think the first time may have been the fastest I could, I could do this. 8.42. 8 seconds. Try again. Try again. Okay, get some good damage off here. Some nice hyper blooms. Okay, okay, okay. That is not great damage, and we only have one minute left. Oh no. This is not winnable, bro. <laughs> this is not winnable. My Alhatham don't do enough, bro. He's doing 1,000 damage. Okay, wait. The Hyper Bloom actually does stuff, though. Uh, maybe I'm just optimizing this wrong. Am I the issue? Is this is this actually a skill issue? Like, like look at that. That's, that's some decent damage output. I think I might be the issue. We'll keep going here. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. I think we might be able to come back and finish chamber one later. And in the meantime, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to attempt to get six stars on chamber two and three. And since hopefully these bosses will be easier, we can come back and finish chamber one afterwards. I already messed up. Okay, we're going to we're going to redo that. Oh, God. Why is this actually difficult? Oh, why is this so hard? Weapon doesn't matter that much, right? We have 50 seconds left. This is the big push. Oh, gosh. Man, this dual blade thing sucks. <laughs> this dual blade thing sucks, bro. My chat's already choosing what weapon to delete for me, bro. What the heck? <laughs> oh, God. One star. <laughs> no, not like this. Please, I can't get zero stars here. I can't get zero stars. There's still hope. There's still hope. There's still hope. We are actually zero star gaming right now. Oh. I missed! <laughs> this cannot be happening, bro. <laughs> this cannot be happening. Why does there have to be a thing that flies in the air when I'm doing a sword only challenge? Bennett can't even reach him, bro. He is physically not tall enough. You know, I thought this I thought this challenge would actually be easy. Like if you look at the characters, yes, they're running a dual blade. But I mean, like these stats are bad, but there's just no damage. 
You know, I think I really underestimated how important support characters are. Can we have a run with their actual weapons? Should we try the 36 start with actual teams now? You wanna, okay, what if I still use the same teams, but we just gave them their weapons? I, I'm not changing anything except the weapons here. Let's see. Let's see. With their weapons, what difference does this make? Honestly, I feel like Farina should be on this team. Would this be better? And then who would I put here instead? Uh, I need a sword character. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> we'll do that. Yeah, I could put Bennett on team one as well. All right, let's see it. What does this damage look like? Oh my God, that is, that's what I want to see. <laughs> that's what I want to be seeing, bro. Okay, we are like 20 seconds faster. It's actually not that much. <laughs> Although I am using Nilu, who is pretty much useless on this team. Okay. I think this team is the big <laughs> question that we had. Are we gonna be able to do this? Yo, what? This is so much better, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> We're already halfway, bro. Where was this my whole life? Wow. Actual damage being done. This hurts. <laughs> this hurts, bro. I can't believe it. <laughs> it hurts that I spent so long using the freaking dull blade. Okay, two minutes here. I feel like we still had around the same amount of time for the first half. It's definitely just the second half team that is way better now. Plus we have Farina on this team, so that's gotta mean something. Wow, they needed to nerf weapons. This is too strong. Wow, all of my suffering really was because of the dual blade. It wasn't actually, it wasn't actually me. I'm not the issue. I'm not the issue. I'm not the problem. Yeah, the traveler really needs to teach me how to use that dual blade because what the heck, dude. <laughs> I'm not the problem. I'm so happy. I'm not the problem. Oh my God. Okay, why is this guy actually taking longer though? Why am I using electro charged? There's just some questions in life that we'll never know the answer to. All right, here we go. Let's see this. Let's see this. The fact that Farina's minions can hit this guy in the air as well. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Wait, I did not mean to do that. No. Oh my god. I just, I eat, I eat off of instinct. Okay, here we go. Oh, how did I do it, bro? Oh, I did it. What? How did I do it? It's the minions? It actually might be. Oh my god, it is the minions! What the? Wait, his minions are so strong! This game is pay to play! What? Wait, you're telling me I actually could have done this if I had Farina on the second half team?
time to redo the challenge? What? <laughs> oh my god, what? I don't think I would have been able to get 36 stars because on chamber one and chamber two, we only barely clinched three stars even with their weapons, but chamber three would have actually been doable. Well, there you have it. All right, chat, here's what we'll do. Bruh. You have four options here. You have four options. Forged. Today's your lucky day. Oh my god. YouTube, I don't even know if you're gonna see this as a video, but if you're still watching, thank you for making it to the end. This has been quite the uh, humbling experience. You know, I actually said to my editor before we started this, and I quote, I don't think this will be that hard. <laughs> and I have been uh, very much proven wrong. Um, like I said, I think it is doable. I think if I just built my characters more, if I gave them better artifacts, if I built proper team comps that could use all sword characters, I think this is doable. But unfortunately, I severely underestimated the state of my account. And I also severely underestimated how important these four and five star weapons truly are. So if you're watching this, invest in those weapons. Don't be like me. Don't overestimate your account. And this is the price we're gonna have to pay. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the most expensive one-star apprentice's notes that you've ever seen.